Hey everyone, this is Doug with B&H, and today we're taking a peek at the brand new A camera, the Canon C700. The C700, of course, is the latest in Canon's Cinema EOS line of cameras and brings many high-end features to serious filmmakers. Right off the bat, you'll notice this camera is quite different from your previous Cinema EOS cameras, as it's based on a modular design. Its new Super 35mm sensor captures an amazing 15 stops of dynamic range, preserving incredible highlights and reaching far into the shadows. The C700 shoots up to 4.5K and has an interesting array of recording options. Internally, the camera can record to either XFAVC or ProRes, with 4K frame rates up to 60fps in AVC and 30fps in ProRes. Additionally, the camera has two ways to record 2K, either with full sensor readout that goes up to 120fps, or with a two times crop of the sensor allowing it to go up to 240fps. For even higher end productions, however, the camera will receive a later update enabling it to output a 4.5K RAW signal up to 100fps with a full 12-bit color depth. It records via a codex recorder developed with Canon that attaches seamlessly to the back of the camera. This gives you a depth of color and scale resolution never before seen from Canon. Plus, the RAW format now allows white balance and ISO to be fully adjusted in post. In the 4.5K mode, you can also shoot with anamorphic lenses. Using lenses such as Cooks with eye technology, the C700 can store the metadata for the anamorphic lens. The ability to switch between compressed and raw options can't be overstated. The deadlines for, say, television production demand high quality in much less time than feature films. At the other end of the spectrum, where you need flexibility in post, along with the utmost image quality, raw output turns this camera into a full-fledged A camera for cinema production. The C700 is also one of the most configurable cameras we've ever seen from Canon. Starting with the mount, the camera can be set up to use EF or PL mounts, and even the B4 mount, with the use of a Canon adapter. Lens power is provided through the mount, and the EF version is a locking mount, giving it added strength and stability necessary for high-end cinema lenses. For those who need or want to switch, the mount is swappable at a Canon service center. Last but not least, the C700 comes in one additional configuration, global shutter. What's really interesting is that on the PL model, the sensor can also be swapped out by Canon to replace the standard CMOS sensor if you decide global shutter is a better fit. With the ability to switch out the sensor, could we perhaps see future upgrades? It's worth noting that the camera can be purchased with the PL mount in both sensor configurations, but there are more details to come regarding the conversion between the standard CMOS sensor and the global shutter variant, so stay tuned. Canon is also announcing their own EVF, with a full 1080p OLED display that offers additional menu control built right into the unit. For even more accessibility to the camera's settings, Canon is also introducing a control unit. The unit can be positioned on the AC side of the camera or be operated at a distance through a cable. This gives you full access to the menu and provides a level of control that you might need from a distance on a professional set. The C700 comes with a new industry standard GUI for easy setup of the camera and offers professional connections such as a 12-pin Hirose connector for CineServo lenses, four 3G SDI for raw output, a 12-volt power connection, XLR, and more. For high-end filmmaking, the C700 gives you the benefits of raw recording and cinema compatibility when you need it, along with the faster turnaround of compressed formats and native EF support that already made the Cinema EOS line so strong. Canon also has the all-new XC15, building on the hybrid still video concept that's been featured in the XC10. With additional video-centric features such as a waveform monitor, more color matrix settings, shutter angle adjustment, and a new XLR accessory that's compatible with the C300 Mark II, the XC15 brings more professional features to the indie and event shooter. One more thing before we go. The new word in cinema production these days is HDR. To that end, Canon is introducing two new HDR displays, the DPV2420 and the DPV1710. They're 24 inches and 17 inches respectively and come with an impressive feature set. Both 2084 and HLG are covered, plus they have Rec2020, wide color gamut, and ASUS support. 1D and 3D LUTs can be loaded into the monitors, and with HDMI 2.0A connections, HDR metadata signaling is fully supported. From the C700 camera to the new HDR monitors, these are the kinds of tools you need to see to believe. From B&H, my name is Doug. Thanks for watching.